folks, you're uh, looking at Hidden Cove Cottages, we're on the lake, a little tan around, <laughs> going down to the fish hut. Northwest Passage. Nine inches of ice under the Argo. On our way to the huts, to uh, through the Northwest Passage. A little shortcut to the huts. Uh, by the way, you're with Whitey, A.K.A. Rick Arsenal. <laughs> formerly from Lake Simcoe, Cooks Bay, Simcoe Fishing Adventures. We're going to mosey on down to our hut. Turn the machine off. We're you're, uh, we're in the Bancroft region, and uh, this lake is called Lake Westland Coon. Uh, trout is closed in the winter, unfortunately, but we do fish for perch. Good perch in here. Nobody fishes for them. There's a few brook trout here and there, some splake, and the odd rainbow. But having said that, we're in Zone 18. Um, nine inches of ice, pretty well everywhere I've been traveling this week. But don't take that as gospel. If you go to some other lake, you got to check with somebody before you go out on the ice. Now, we're in Zone 18, but in Zone 15, which is uh, all around us, we have several small lakes where lake trout is open. We have splake. We have rainbows. We have brook trout. So lots of uh, opportunities to book a fishing adventure. Sometimes uh, you can't get on Lake Simcoe, like in the last year and probably this year again. So anyway, that's my hut off there in the distance. We'll go down there and we'll do a little picture on the ice thickness. I'll just put it on standby for now. So here we are at the Honey Hole. <laughs> the only fish hut that's probably on Lake Westland Coon. <clears throat> As I mentioned earlier, uh, Lake Trout is closed. But there's good perching. There's some brookie, the odd brookies, a few splake. And there's herring. They're coarser uh, than the ones on Lake Simcoe. But they're still good eating nonetheless. So basically, uh, lake trout and bass, uh, they're out, right? But uh, we have a lot of people coming up that are interested in perch. Uh, you know, same people we have in Lake Simcoe. So uh, let's go inside and take a look at the hut. Okay, here we go. My measuring stick. Right down there, that says nine inches of ice. <clears throat> now that's probably the norm for most of the lakes up in this area. But even on this lake, there's areas that don't freeze up. This lake is regulated by a dam, and the water's always, uh, always moving. So there's certain areas around here you even have to avoid. By all means, check with your local operator or person or whatever before you go out fishing anywhere on any ice these days. So there you have it. We're fishing. We're going to put another hut out. We've got some people coming up for perch. And... Um, I'm going to fish for some right now. Talk to you later. Bye.